Hello, everybody. Misty here. Back again. Um, just one. Uh, let me undo. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I remember we did that in the first lesson. So this is the second lesson. This is part two. I'm on page 73. I'm going to um, create. Uh, I'm working on item two on page 73. Make task three. Design and order marketing mat uh, material. A predecessor of uh, task four. By using the, ta the task information dialog box. So if I click on task four. Okay, and I'm going to the task information dialog box. This is task. This is information. Okay, I'm going to the dialog box. I'm clicking on predecessor. I'm going down to my task and I'm going to put in the task above it because that's where I want to link to design, order, and marketing. So here we go. And then I say okay, and you see it's linked. Um, two is linked to three. They're dependent on each other. So when task two is complete, task three will start. And when task three is complete, you'll have a milestone. Now, I'm going to go back and redo this. So we see we have when task two is complete, task three will start. Okay. All right. So if I linked it this way, just by highlighting task three and four and go into the schedule group and say link, it does the exact same thing. So it's just another way to, um, to set your predecessors and to link everything together. All right. So I hope this, um, helps you, um, somewhat so that you can finish your work. If you have any other questions, um, please let me know this, uh, so far is seems pretty um, simple. All right. So uh, I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.